Welcome Soul Tribe, Spiritual Warriors, uh, to another uh, insightful message from Spiritual Guidance 1111. That's the name of my channel, Spiritual Guidance 1111. And I want to welcome you to my channel. Um, please read in the description. I have uh, uh, some disclaimers in there. It tells you what I'm not. Just old country boss. Got a couple of gifts that I use. Uh, and I have links in there also. Please go to those links. Shop with the uh, iCav Mystic Beauty. Go visit the, the links that I put. Uh, Tam enlightened auntie uh, visit her also while you're there subscribe and put a comment on there say Captain Reed sent me she don't know who you talking about uh, I prayed over the calls I've had a busy day today I went to I had to go to a dentist a dentist appointment tomorrow I have a, a doctor's appointment uh, just general physician in fact it's more to do with the uh, Coast Guard licensing and whatnot. So, and then I think the next day after that, I got a heart doctor I got to go to. Yeah, I, I, I tell you, I would, boy. It's something else. Um, and my heart's good. My heart's full of love. Every time they, they, they do one of them, one of them heart tests on me, it's what it comes back with. Love. Whew. That thing goes, doot, 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 doot. It spells the word out, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, well, oh, let me see. I'm going to uh, use a Magic of Unicorns deck. Uh, that's going to be my first. It'll, uh, be kind of like an upside down pyramid. We're gonna have five, four, three, two, one. And um, we, since my my blot reading was a a hit, a success, I'm going to do a a blot reading. This is the, the card deck. Amazon, eBay, how you find it, just Google it and I, I guarantee you it'll pop up. This is the same thing. If you're interested in this deck, I really don't know. I forgot where I got it at. I, I just uh, been a long time. So I think it's on, uh, uh, who knows? I think it's on Amazon, I'm not sure. But it's it's uh, 44 cards. Uh, neat love day. And then I'll do uh, my, my old trusted tarot deck. My trusted old tarot deck. I have my new deck. In, uh, Intuitive City, Oracle Tarot. But I'm going to use my old one. I, uh, I've already shuffled or prayed over the cards. Prayed over the cards and uh, asked the Holy Spirit to deliver through me a message for whoever it resonates with. Shuffled and uh, we'll get started. Uh, we'll get started. Unicorn Portal. It's going to be tough. These are some really shiny cards. Uh, unicorn portal. Um, and I am a unicorn. Yeah, I am the last of my kind. We are, there are us out here, spiritual warriors, that are the last. God quit making us a long time ago. I need to get me a drink. My fingers are dry. Lebanese tea. My 
Rodney. Uh, Unicorn Portal. You have went through a, uh, an awakening and uh, something caused it. Perhaps we'll figure it out in the in the further along in the reading, but uh, uh, you have been through an awakening and you need to listen to the message that is being given to you. When you receive downloads, listen to them. They are from your ancestors, the Holy Spirit, those who are protecting you. Cosmic sapphire. Impossible to see. I know. I know. Maybe if I took it out further. Um, cosmic sapphire is um, you act with honor and integrity. And the message here is to continue acting with honor and integrity. Don't don't stray from the path. Stay on the path. No matter what happens, no matter what temptations come before you, do not leave the path. Period. If, if you do, you, you're going to find yourself in a heap of trouble. New opportunities. New opportunities. Declutter your life, it says. Declutter your life. And uh, when you begin to declutter your life, and you, especially uh, you begin to speak, uh, seek spiritual wisdom, when you begin to manifest and pray for knowledge and understanding spiritually, that helps you declutter things. It helps you realize what's important and what's not. And there's a lot of things before that you thought was important that's really not important. Especially material things. Material things, it's just, it's all staying here. It ain't going with you, I promise you that. Yes. It ain't going with you. You know. You'll take your memories. Memories of those you love. Memories of those that did you wrong to. There's a lot of, you take a lot of, your hard drive is going with you. And what you can't remember, don't worry. God going to remind you. Declutter your life. The magical doorway. And you went through it. You went through that magical doorway. That's how you went to into the unicorn portal. Yes. Shower of blessings. Shower of blessings. And what this is, is just to open yourself up to receive blessings. Stop. And you pay it forward. Charity. You give, 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 give. It's not about getting. Getting is fine. If you need, it's fine. Getting is fine. That's what earth angels are there for. That's what us spiritual warriors are there for. My soul tribe is the most giving tribe in creation. We give. We give. And it don't have to be a lot. It could just be a, a, a dollar to a person on the street. You pay it for it. You're helping that person out. It's all the same. It's to help. And it don't take a whole lot sometimes to help. Uh Yes, you open yourself up to blessings. Stand in your power. Stand in your power. 
you know what your purpose is because you went through the portal. You you received your awakening. So you know what your purpose is. You know what your assignment is. It may not be like totally clear to you, but you have an idea of what it is. And as you begin to fulfill that assignment, what you think may be something um, to do with that assignment, something else is going to become clearer and clearer and clearer. And then you're going to understand, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. This was the reason. This was the reason for the loss that I took. And God is going to pour it back on you again. He's going to shower you with blessings, the universe, source, whatever you believe in, it is going to pour it on you again. Mm -hmm. Because you can empty your cup out and your cup's going to be filled again. Mm -hmm. Be passionate about your vision and be positive. Always be positive. There is no, there's no reason to be negative. You try to be positive, and I say that all the time. You have to control your, your emotion, control your mind. Negative thoughts manifest negative manifestations. You, you bring in negativity. You attract what you are, unless you're an earth angel. Once you, once you become. Uh, so bright, your light shines, you attract everything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, you, you will attract everything. Everything is coming towards you. And, um, but if you're negative and you are in low vibration, okay, you down here and earth angels and spiritual warriors, they in the top tier of vibrations. They vibrate so high they break glass. They attract everything. You attract what you are. You will attract some low vibing nut job, some fruit cake, and that's what you're going to attract. And the higher vibration you go, that's when all of the other earth angels are going to notice you. And be like, wow. Somebody new came into the tribe. Hmm. Okay. And they'll watch you for a while. Yeah, they'll watch you because, you know, you got to be careful nowadays. You get infiltrated. Wolf in sheep's clothing try to slither their way into the herd, into the tribe. And that's fine. Uh, let's see what's next. Ooh. Enter the magic. Enter the magic. Mm-hmm. And living in, in, enter the magic means you, you living in the moment. Living now. Okay. Now, it's not saying to go batshit crazy and do what you want, when you want, how you want, and all that. It's saying to accept now. This is what's going on now. Forget the past. You can't do nothing about that. Take the loss and move on with your life. That was that was a lesson. You go to college, you pay for, for that, that lesson. Come out of there with a PhD in whatever. You know, there's a lot of fruitcakes come out of college. I'm just saying, I mean, y'all don't flood me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just <laughs> uh, uh, truth of the matter is, you go to college, it costs a lot. You pay for that lesson. You go to school. It costs. You pay for the lesson. Life. You pay for the lesson. Okay? That's in the past. You got your PhD in unrequited love, in twin flames, and whatever the case is, you got your PhD in that. You move on. You pay for it. You good. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Yeah. Let's move on. Caring community. Enrich your life. Yes. The only thing is be careful what you enrich your life with. 
I'm going to tell you that. Some people enrich their lives with things they shouldn't. At the beginning, they think it's enrichment. They are fulfilling fantasies that they want. And it turns out, you know, and the fantasy is a dream. It's, it's dreams that they want to live that, you know, especially the older you get, you go through this, you know, uh, there's no midlife crisis no more. We're talking about, you know, once you get into your 50s and beyond, this is a seasoned life crisis. You're talking about like you are like seasoned citizen crisis. So you're living things that you always dreamed of. And sometimes you make bad choices in those dreams and they end up being a nightmare. And that's all I'm telling you is to be careful. Be careful when you, you know, when you participate and belong to a community, make sure that the community is serving you, that you don't serve them. And if you are serving them, make sure that there's a reason behind that and there's an assignment and a purpose. It's not just because you allowing that person to use, misuse, and abuse you for no reason. If, they're, if that's the case, you back out of that. Cut the card, you know, you disengage. You, whatever the words you want to use, you get your ass out of there. You jump out the plane with a parachute, and you're like, I'm out of here. I hope you can fly. I hope you can drive this damn thing, because I'm gone. Get out of there. Now, if there's a reason, that's where... The manipulated becomes the one that is manipulating you, what they thought, becomes the manipulated. That's when God teaches them a lesson. Using you, you're nothing but a tool. And he says, you continue, you do what I tell you to do, and you continue to. And when we are done, whoever this person is, they will feel pain like they've never felt in their life. Because they're going to... Because you see, loss for them is whatever they love the most. And you are not what they love the most. It's things. Things is what they love the most. That's why they use you to get what they want. See? You love them. They didn't love you. They love what you could provide. And that's a hard one to swallow. So. Oh. Uncarted relationships. Imagine that. We just talked about that. The Holy Spirit. He's like on it again tonight. Yes. Let go. That's what uncarted relationships are. Forgiveness is freedom for you. Not for them. Who cares about that? Who cares if they say, I'm sorry? Who cares if they say, you know, well, you know, I'm here to give you closure. Boo, that been closed a long time. No. Nah. I'm good. Just... just you know, try la 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 carry your ass on, have a good time, do what you was doing. You you walked away for you. I hope you is happy. <laughs> Blessings and happiness, you. Yes, with all your little toxic friends, karmics, fruitcakes, nut jobs, mm -hmm. all of them. Put them all in a basket. Yes, that's what this is saying. Uncalled relationships. Cut the cord. And we was just talking about that. You have to know what your assignment is and what your purpose is. Your purpose is not to just allow people to walk on you. I don't care who you are. And you might have a, a heart that is so tender, you know, it just it's fine. You're not, you're not going to be a hard ass if you cut the card and say, listen, I have enough. I'm, I'm done. I've, we've done this for a few years now, and we're not doing this no more. I'm not playing the game no more. We're done. I hope you're happy. I hope you, 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 you know, I hope whatever the choices you make, you've made, work out for you. I'm going to start making my choices. I am going to go on my path alone. And perhaps somewhere down your path, you, you're going to stop and somebody's going to need some help and you're going to make them a priority. You're going to help them because that'll be your new assignment or something. That's what I'm saying. You will have another assignment. God is going to give you something else to do. 
That's what we do as earth angels, as spiritual warriors. We follow God's assignments, whatever he wants us to do. And sometimes it's painful for us, but we get used to it. Mm, excuse me. We get used to it. Manifest your dreams. We said that too just a while ago. Yes. You have to do that. You have to manifest your dreams. Your dream and their dream is not the same. No. Mm -mm. Your dream and their dream is not the same. Their dream is way off the path. And, and it could be painful for you that they, they don't have... They don't want to accompany you, accompany you on your dream. And, you know, you have to do what God requires, not what they require. Because if they went toxic and karmic, that means that they're going to try to influence you off of your path. And you can't allow that. You can't ever allow that. Do not ever be tempted to go in that direction. Period. They did, and you, you know, it is what it is. The freedom of truth. I think you are. I'm going to tell you what this is. It is be who you are. Be who you truly are. Yes. Say what you mean, mean what you say. You are honest, and you want to be honest. And if you lie, for whatever reason, and I have, I am, am, I am not perfect in no way, no shape, no how. I have. Uh, and the justification is not, is not. And let me let me tell you this: it, it is a. It is a sin of omission. It is a... Uh, because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, so you, you, you don't tell the whole truth. You don't tell everything. Okay? And I have. I have done that. Because I didn't want to hurt someone's feelings. And uh, they come back on me. And I admitted to it. And I, I said that, you know, I... I didn't tell the whole truth that I left parts of the story and it is what it is. And you learn from that. And I haven't since that happened, that's a very long time ago. I haven't ever done that again. We have to just move on with life and, and accept what you've done and be remorseful. Be remorseful. You can be re regretful for hurting that person, even though you didn't want to, you ended up hurting them anyway. Normally, norm, that's what ends up happening. You end up hurting someone no matter what. So you might as well just be straight up and say what you did, whatever the case is, and then you can move on with your life. If they forgive you, good. If they don't, well, they're going to have to hold that. That's going to be a heavy weight for them, not you. You, you did your part. You apologized and you told them whatever. Your, your conscience is, put it this way, it ain't clear. Your conscience ain't clear because you still have a little weight on that. But you did your part. Ascension lift. Yeah, you, you, you uh, moved up really quickly. You, when you became awakened, you was like a rocket ship. You like, you took off. And when that began, when that happened, you began to gain knowledge and understanding of things that you had never had before. Possibly you became a teacher of spiritual guidance. Perhaps you became a teacher of, of different things, of healing, of different gifts. Perhaps you became a reader. Because it takes a gift to read. Oh, you can memorize the book. You can do all of that. But to have the intuition to read, that takes a gift. And not everybody has that gift. They, I can watch readers on, on this right here, this information device, and I can pick out the one that's got the gift and those that don't. They just memorize. They just, they just 
They follow the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They know who they, they, and I will never cut no reader, period. Okay, so this is not a cut on readers. I, I am just saying I know readers that have the gift of discernment, the gift of intuition, the gift of interpretation. And I, I know those that don't. But I won't ever say. I'll applaud them just as much as I will those other ones because they're trying. They're trying. And just possibly they, God will give them the gift because they want it that bad. Just possibly this. And support them. I want you to. I want you to support them. If, and especially with the donations and whatnot because a lot of these people readers especially the gifted ones they give up careers to do this and they need help they don't this is not uh they you know life's a struggle yes and that's all this is is ascension lift is you have to be ready once you become awakened you have to be ready for uh uh, what's, spiritual opportunities. There will have opportunities come along. And they, they, they will present themselves. And if you're not ready, it's going to pass you by. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of like Dharma. Dharma is going to just fly right by you and go to somebody that's ready. So you have to prepare yourself. Go with the flu. And that's going with the flow in divine matter, divine order. Go with the flow in, uh, be divinely guided, not toxic or karmic. And you know the difference. People that tell me they don't know the difference is, I don't want to, because I had some comments that I, I cuss, and I, I, you know, they're not too happy about that, but, and, You know the difference between right and wrong, and you know the difference between good and evil. So please spare me the bull, okay? It, okay? Just spare me. I'm not interested in, I hate the one thing I cannot stand the most is excuses. I hate it at work. I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear why you didn't do your job. I don't want to hear it. As far as I'm concerned, there's no excuse. Should have done it. It is what it is. The same applies to life. God don't want to hear it. He don't want to hear why you went down the wrong path. He don't want to hear while you, you know, you laying up, stepping out with some karmic, toxic turd that you shouldn't have been with. When you knew that you might have had a divine earth angel in, I mean, in the palm of your hand, and you, you blew that shit off. I'm sorry, you blew that stuff. You just blew the shit off. Okay, look, I, I, I don't want anybody to unsubscribe. I'm not like some readers and say, huh, I don't give a damn about this, those that the subscription. I do. I do care for y'all. So please. Stay with me. I'm going. This is a work in progress. I, I'm, I'm determined. That's the only bad habit I got. That's the only one I got. And I don't really use a like, super foul language. Sure not on here. I have. I do sometimes at work. I, poof, I, I blow a head gasket. It's on. Oh, Lord. It's on. I guarantee you. So just be careful when it says to go with the flu. Yeah, you go with the right flu. Don't go with the wrong flu. And, and I'm not going to apologize no more for using colorful metaphors and, and my toboda vocabulary. It's just, I'm going to use country vocabulary. I'm going to be honest with you. But of course, they got some country folks that don't say that at all. They use the, the proper. Yeah. But, okay, think about this. Like, if I'm trying to make a point and I'm like, you know what? 
This is, and I use this word instead. I want you to think about this. Okay. Okay, what happened to you, I think that was bull defecation. <laughs> and that just don't sound, that don't go together. It just don't go together. It's, I don't know. I'm like, I tried it. I tried it. Uh, it's it's kind of like steak and ketchup. It don't go together. No. No, I see somebody put ketchup on a stick. I'm, I'm good. I'm out of here. Let's do it. I tell my bride, let's go. <laughs> and I know somebody's going to be like, I put stick. My father-in-law did take my word for it. When he do that, I would be like, oh, uh-uh. I just bought this man a $30 stick. Oh, back then, that was, that was a high dollar stick. And he put ketchup on my stick. Oh, uh-uh. Become a beacon. <laughs> Become a beacon. Uh, so I'm laughing. My puppy, you know, uh, they call that Defan. Cage in French, that means you, somebody that done passed on that uh, transition. Defan, my, my, my Defan father in law. Yeah. I loved him to death, but boy, he thought, he thought every Cajun was just an idiot. He did not have no confidence in Cajuns. And we're so, we're brilliant. Yes. Anybody can make a home in the swamp, in the marsh, where they got mosquitoes. They're some brilliant people. <laughs> be a beacon. You are a light. That's all that means is be a light. Be a resource for people to go to. Be a healer. There are a lot of people in the world that just need... They just need inspiration, motivation. They just, they, they are sponge. They want it. They just want somebody to say, you know what? It's going to be okay. You're making the right decision. Go with it. Follow your gut. Follow that intuition. That's all they want. And that's what's being a beacon all about. Yes. Just let your light shine. They're going to come to you. I, we started out on spiritual guidance. I had like 25 subscriptions and I can't remember. Maybe I had a, a hundred or so when Mystic Beauty picked me up and I, it, it exploded. Yes. They came, they come to you because they want the message. They want the inspiration. They want to feel good. They don't want all the time the, the terrible stuff that they have to go through. Be a beacon. Access your gifts. You have some gifts. In fact, we all have gifts. I really, I truly believe that. We all have gifts. We just don't refine them. I had my gifts hidden for so long. I knew I had them. I knew I had them. I could use regular playing cards. And I could tell you a story with regular playing cards. But I never used them because... I was a Christian, and Christians weren't supposed to do that. And that was like, oh, no, that was the devil, Bobby Boucher. But it wasn't. When I figured it out, and I became awakened, and the Holy Spirit spoke to me, and he said, no, no. The devil knows scripture. The devil knows scripture from the beginning of the, the first word in the Bible to the last word in the Bible. He knows it better than everybody. So... I mean, I'm, and I'm not saying, but I'm, what I'm trying to make everybody understand is this is a tool. You can use it for bad or you can use it for good. You can be a karmic, toxic, evil reader or you can be a, a divine reader, which I am. I incorporate the Holy Spirit, prayer, Jesus. I and I, and I involve everybody in my channel spiritually. That being said, I mean, hopefully we can change some of those karmics back to divine. We want them back into the divine order. We don't want them to stay out there. So, access your gifts. And the last one in this pyramid deck is the spiritual warrior. You are a spiritual warrior. Yes, you are. My soul tribe, my little earth angel. Yes, you are. I could I could see you in the morning when you're drinking your coffee. 
And you're watching the sunrise and you open them wings up to absorb all that warmth. Yes, spiritual warriors. We are wise. Some of us know, have knowledge that are well beyond our years. We know things that, and we've always known, we just haven't said. What's the point of saying it? Sometimes people, if you say something, they think you boastful or you arrogant or whatever the case is, or they may accuse you of, of having ego or like, and earth angels and spiritual warriors, that's the last thing on our mind. We don't care about none of that. We don't. If we cared about any of that, we would have, we would, it would be a big thing for us to take a loss, pinnacle-wise. But our ego and our arrogance couldn't take it. But we do. We take the loss. We write that shit off like it ain't nothing. It's okay. God gonna bless me. He gonna, in fact, whatever I took out of my cup, he gonna put twice as much back. Creative solution. Think out the box. Creative solutions. Think out of the box. Yes. Uh, and oh, and I don't have any questions, so I'm gonna go. Mm -mm. Block reading. My earth angel. Hmm. It appears somebody wants to give. Uh, wants to. Uh, man, I'm, the word coming to mind is surrender. And somebody wants to surrender and say, I've I, I, I had enough of the fighting. And. Uh, it appears that you're not interested. You're not going me. They, you may allow them to uh, open a dialogue, perhaps, maybe. I, I don't even think that that'll happen. But even if it does, there are... Yeah, you got the two swords up. Mm -mm. Yes. I'll show you the card again. Yes, that they're standing at a distance and they want to come in. They haven't communicated that to you yet. They want to. They just don't know how. They don't know what to say. And I think that they are scared to death. I think that they are scared to death because of what has happened and what's been done. This, right here next to this card I just pulled. Hmm. There's a lot of yellow in this card. Yellow and green. They got some bluish in there. A lot of yellow. Yellow in spiritualism. Yellow in spiritualism is, is happiness. It's a happy energy. Very happy energy. Green is growth in spiritualism. In nature, green is growth. It's an earth color. This is two thumbs down. I don't think you're going to go for whatever they bring. The offer that they got to make to you is going to be thumbs down. That's what I see right here. Two thumbs in the down position. Yes. And I see... In, in effect, two hands praying, actually just wanting, wanting to some grace, but you're not having it. You're not giving in. You don't trust this person. 
whoever this is. You don't trust them. I don't know. Family, this could be family or friends. This don't have to, or ex or whatever the case is. This, it, you can check off all the boxes. Yes, indeed. Hmm. It's a Leo. It's a Leo. Leo could be an influential person. This could be Leo that you're dealing with. This could be Leo. The character could be a but this could be And this is like almost black. I see a horse in the, the two thumbs down. I also see a horse there. Black horse. Green, it's just real dark. So I'm going to say it's a black horse. Black in spiritualism is. Um, It's, uh, it, it has different meanings, but in, in this spread right here, it would mean luxury, materialism. Um, it would mean um, and this one right here. Again, Yellow, got a lot of yellow and purple. Purple is royalty. Purple and yellow is happiness. I've already said that. Yellow is happiness. This is you. You are very happy in your present tense. You are very happy. You, you have gotten over the hill. It was a tough struggle. But you have moved on. You have let go of whatever you needed to let go of, and you are fine. You have your moments. Sometimes you have your moments. Well, we all do. Hell, who don't? We all do. You get in your feelings, and but you pull out of it very, relatively quick, quickly. You know, you use what I what I teach: deflection and distraction. You go open the refrigerator, see if the lights on. But like that, and then you close it, and you open it again, and make yeah, that light's still on. That light didn't go out. We use that for distraction, deflection. You, you, you deflect from your emotion, and that's how you gain control of it. Uh, and here again, I, I see these. Are, I see some demons right here, uh, or or it could be a two angels on your on you, uh, an angel and a demon on each side, and one the demon is saying, you know, give him a chance, give him a chance, give him a chance. And that angel on the other side is like, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. They have some orange in here. Not very much, but they have some orange. Orange is enthusiasm. You're very enthusiastic about whatever it is you do. You're very enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. You're checking off all the boxes. And 
Nothing but red. Red up in here. Nothing but red. You love this person. Whoever this person was, is, or whatever the case is. Red indicates an extreme amount of love. You love this person. Of course, they didn't love you. They didn't love you. And I'm not going to play off like, oh, well, they didn't know what love was. Everybody knows what love is. Everybody knows who they know. And they knew that they was hurting you. They knew all of those things. So don't play off to that. No. no. Don't don't buy into all of that shit. That just ain't, it ain't true. They, they knew. And they know what love is. Because obviously they stepped out and they fell in love with somebody else. That right there tell you the whole story. You love them, they love somebody else. You gave to them, they gave to somebody else. <laughs> it is what it is. But you, let's talk about you. Yes, you're checking off all the all the boxes. See them check marks? You are checking off some boxes as you go. Yeah. You are definitely checking off boxes. And there's a vehicle right here. I'm looking at this differently. I see some shoes. Mm -mm. That could mean somebody else. Got their shoes under your bed, or you got your shoes under that bed. It's, and it could just mean that you are a lover of shoes. You just love some pumps. But when you reverse it, it becomes check marks. So it's either way. It's, it's open to interpretation, as I've stated before. Mm-hmm. Last card. Ooh. Last card. Sagittarius. I think there's a Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. To the bottom of the deck. That's what I'm looking at. This could be one of two things. Uh, it could be, I believe it really it's only one thing. This is a, was a earth angel. This was your person, whoever you had talked to. This could be you. This could be you. You have your back turned to someone. You have your back turned. You have your sword on your back. And you have your back turned to someone, Earth Angel. You don't want to part of them no more. You don't. You don't want to have nothing. You don't want to hear what they have to say. You don't. You 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 have been done with this, and but you have been scattered. You have had a, a, a mm, your emotions have been scrambled for a long time, but you are finding your way. Everything is coming together. Everything is coming together. And you'll find your way. Yes, indeed. I hope you enjoyed the plot reading. And we'll go straight into the tarot. I'm going to do a diamond spread on the tarot. Start off with the base card. And the base card is the six of wands in the reverse. Mm. Someone feels disgraced. I don't think it's you. I'm just saying. I don't think it's you. I think it may be someone in your energy, someone that was in your circle, possibly, that you pushed out.
this was just one card, so let's do a couple of more. Ooh, ooh. The devil in reverse. The devil in reverse and the three of cups in reverse. I have three cards in reverse. All of them in reverse. Hmm. This person has whoever it is got ill intentions or they had ill intentions when they were associated with you. Yeah. When they were in your circle, they definitely they had bad intentions. Now they feel like a failure. Now they feel like a failure. Whoever they went towards, whoever they stepped out with, they went towards someone, not something. They went person, place, thing. Yeah, they went towards someone. And they had been with that someone for a while. This person parties a lot. They love the nightlife. They love the being with their friends, uh, overindulgence in things. And that's why they're in the situation they're in now. I can tell you that right now. That's why they in the situation they're in because two of wands lands on top of the devil in reverse. Whatever they're doing, whatever they were doing, it's not working for them anymore. And they know it. They know it. They may. They may try. They may. I, I'm getting this like they don't want to admit it. They don't. They're in denial. Like I just. I. I don't know why. I. This didn't work. This should have worked. You know. I. I made. I. I. I did all of these moves in my head, and it didn't work. Why is it not working? Ooh. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Now. Two. I got two twos back to back. Two, two. Mm-hmm. Yep. Two twos. That's telling. I'm telling you this person stepped out on some. Two is, is, two is love. They stepped out for love or for a reason, but they stepped out in a direction towards another lover. This was an intimate relationship that they got involved with. That's a, it, it, I mean, it's, it's right here. Okay, two and two. Two and two is four. Four is they thought that there was going to be material foundation with whoever they went towards. You weren't enough. You weren't providing enough. Whatever the case is, this other person, whatever their case is, male, female, masculine, feminine, it doesn't matter. They... Two, two, four. They thought the foundation was elsewhere. You could not provide the foundation that they were looking for. And that foundation could have been marriage. Perhaps you didn't want that. Or you couldn't. But that's what they wanted. Perhaps they married. They went somewhere and got married. We'll see. Maybe the cards will tell us. Who knows? Hmm. Unbelievable. Two of Cups. <laughs> Tell me, this ain't no, this ain't no love story right here. That's a love story. Two of Cups. They offered their cup to someone else. Their, uh, someone else offered their cups, and they drew them in. They drew them in. They tempted them, and they got them in. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Two 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 six six is uh, spiritualism. They, there's a possibility they could want you to uh, maybe if they did approach you, they want you to understand. They want some understanding. Uh, six is understanding. Uh, it's, it's also materialism, materialistic. It can also be materialistic, but for sure, two two two. This is definitely, they stepped out, they went somewhere else, and I hate to hurt your feelings, but that's the case, you probably know it already, it, it is what it is, ooh, the 
magician and upright. Magician and upright. Ooh. It lands on top of two of ones. Magician and the upright. It went towards the magician. You're the magician. You are the magician, okay? You hold the cards. Proverbial. I mean, proverbial speaking, you hold the cards. Okay, You hold the tools. You hold the pentacles, the cups, the wands, the swords. You hold the cups. And you look at the magician in his hand he's got the scroll in the air you hold the boundaries too and they know that they know that's them boundaries that are set Ooh, page of cups in the upright yeah they want to come to you they want to bring you a message they want to give you a peace offering an emotional cup what a fish in it. And that could be anything. It could be an emotional gift. Fish meaning that they want to take you to dinner. They want to feed you. It could mean fish is plentiful. They fish is um, substance. Fish is, and it can be turned into pentacles. So maybe whatever they want to offer you is in pentacles, but it's valuable. Okay, let's take it like that. So they want to come towards you. And, ooh, Knight of Cups, another cup. They want, yes, they want to come towards you. This, this knight is coming towards you. They they sending a message. They want to deliver a message. They asking the Knight of Cups to bring this message to to the magician. And you're the star. That's this is definitely you. This is definitely you. You walk. They walking right towards the star. Mm hmm. They're coming towards the star and they, they're like, we need to talk. Yes. They're hoping that you're, you are going to be accepted, understanding, and possibly open to whatever offer that they have. Because in that cup is the offer. Here is what I have to offer you. Yes. Way too, they played too much. Way too much. They play too much with all of their little friends. And that land on top of magician in the upright. And because they play too much, they overburden. Their friends overburden them. They give them a bad advice. That's what that is. Mm -mm -mm. Death card is the hub card. Death card is the card that all the other cards are going to revolve around. Is this card right here. The death card. Why is that? Okay, I mean, I could get that. They 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 went and they played, they played the, the field, they did what they wanted to do, they would not take sound advice from you. They took towards bad influences, stepped out on you, whatever the case is, and you know they did. Now they overburden. Ten of wands. They are way overburdened. They can they 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 struggling. But they want to change. They want to change. Let's let's, let's look at another. Ooh, uh uh. Nope. Nine of wands in reverse. Nine of wands in reverse follows the death card, the change card. You've changed. This is you. We've had a switch in energy right here. You've changed. Mm -hmm. 
because this person stepped out, went play, whatever the case is, and they, they just took on way too many obligations. They are way overburdened. They, they fiscally is irresponsible, um, whatever the case. What We can go into that. You changed. You changed, and you put walls up all around you. They can't get to you. They cannot get to you fiscally, I mean, financially. Um, whatever the case is, physically, they can't get to you. You blocked them. I mean, everything is like shut down. You put walls up spiritually. I mean, it is like unbelievable. Emotionally, they can't touch you. You don't care. You just don't care. Whatever they come up with, they, well, could have, if they come towards you with something, you Give two shits. You don't care. You're like, whatever. Don't care. It's because it's what they wanted. It's not what you wanted. So you good with it now. So, like I said, you ten of cups. You don't care. You happy. <laughs> you are like, you cool with whatever they want. Ooh. What's this about? Ten. Six of pentacles. What's that about? Come on, Holy Spirit, talk to me. I need some help with this one. It lands on top of <clears throat> you help this person. That's what that is. Unless things change with subsequent cards, this is what this is. Lands on top of them stepping up, playing the seven of cups. Every cup that has something different. I mean, it was like an emotional roller coaster as far as pleasure was, what they thought. What they thought. See, this is a pleasure seeker. Mm -hmm. They get their thrills physically, not spiritually. We get our thrills spiritually. Mm -hmm. You help this person a lot. I'm talking about a lot. In every way too, not just in one way. Financially, physically, emotionally. Spiritually, you helped them through a lot. Five of Pentacles. Another Pentacle. Oh, yes, this is changing. This is changing. This is not. This is you, Spiritual Warrior. This is you. Yes, you are. You did help them. That's a, that the Holy Spirit is saying yes. That's what this means. You did help them. It landed on top of the Ten of Wands and the uh, Seven of Cups. You did help them, but you, 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 you changed. It's, it's you. You changing. You've decided to help. They, you don't help them no more. You, you, since you blocked, cut, cord, whatever, disconnected, uh, you're like, and you see the seven of, of pentacles is you're planting seeds somewhere else. You're helping someone else. The five of pentacles. There's someone else that has gone through some financial difficulties. Like I'm talking about big time, negative changes. Feeling left out, financial losses, uh, things were happening to them, and they they prayed and they they probably asked God to help. Well, I need help. I don't know what to do. And God assigned you to them, and He said, I, "I want you to give to them now. I want you to help them. They are to be your priority from this point on until things change." And you're planting seeds with different charities. And that's what I'm saying. It may not be an individual's person. It is with different charities. But this could be within those charities. This could be someone that needed help and you're helping them. You are. Yes. You are, you are giving to charities all over the world. I believe. And this could just be your world. It don't have to be like the whole world. It could be your world within your community, your circle. Yes. 
you are planting seeds. And you're going to reap the harvest. Oh yes, you are ten, you're a pinnacle of ten of pinnacles. You are doing well. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't change. Do not, don't change nothing. Stay, my opinion, not advice. Keep the course. Stay on the path. Keep doing what you're doing. You are financially doing well. The sun. The sun. Hmm. You know what that is? Is everybody sees what you're doing. Not that you want them to see. But everyone is, is, is the sun could be uh, illumination. Everyone is starting to see, talk, they saying things about you because you are a good person. You have a good heart. You are an earth angel. And people are seeing that. People that thought otherwise because maybe someone lied about you. I <laughs> said they prayed. They prayed and there it is. You are somebody's earth angel. That's his earth angel right here. The sun. Yes. Yes. It landed on top of planting seeds. The seven of pentacles. And the world. You could be possibly touching people all over the world by whatever charities you give to, whatever charities you donate to. You could be touching people through those charities. But you, this is definitely someone. You are helping someone, a person. It could be more than one, but for sure, a person. They prayed, they asked God to send me somebody to help. I need help. Don't know what to do. And that person, you you when you help them, they they can look at you as an angel. You are their angel. Calm waters, six of swords. Mm -hmm. You took this person, whoever, this is a person, because there's a person in the boat with you. There's a person in that boat with you. You took this person out of some rough water. They were in a, they were sinking. They were sinking quickly. And you latched on to them and you latched on to them and you said, I got you. I got you. God told me what you wanted. He said, give me a message to help you. And you did. Wheel of Fortune. You move this person towards the wheel of fortune. In fact, that's what they think. They think that it's because of you that now they can, they see light, they can take a deep breath and they can breathe and they have some stability now because of you. Not because of anyone else, because there was no one else that would help them. No one else. This person, you are unbelievable. You are an answered prayer, a blessing. For this individual. And they feel so happy. So relieved. They have that sense of relief. That you, you've you taken them out of the storm. In rough waters. And they were sinking. And they thought they was going to drown. And now they're not. They know. They can see. They can, they can breathe. Yes indeed. You are their wish fulfillment. Yes. You are a wish fulfillment. Partner. Yes indeed. Hmm. Four of Wands in reverse. Because you are a will, and that's on the bottom of the deck. Because you are a, a an earth angel, a spiritual warrior, someone giving and helping, possibly because you, you pull your energy away from someone else. This person is unhappy. This person is not happy. They are hell pissed. They're not happy. And 
they talking to some friends. And they explaining to their friends. Let me show you this. You see that cup he's holding? It's empty. Cup is poured out. That cup is empty. And they are saying to themselves, I need some help. I need something in my cup. Mm -hmm. Five cups. These cups are gone. These right here, they ain't nothing in them cups. But they're still in the upright. They're not happy. They in grief and they feel a loss. You are their loss. Oh yeah, you see? They betrayed you. Whoever this is betrayed you and you took your energy and went somewhere else and that was their judgment. And now they have to watch this. Un I love y'all. <clears throat> Stay close to God. I hope y'all enjoyed the message. Uh, talk to God. He wants to hear from you. And I'm going to end this. Um, peace out.